Great, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's see what's happening over here today. We took a few selfies last night and I actually need to figure out where my selfies went because I can't, like I'm not finding them in my computer and I don't know if they're saved natively in Altspace or if they're on my no. drive somewhere that I can't find. I think they're in both and I think they're maybe in documents and then Altspace and then inside of that folder they might be in there. I've been doing screen grabs using Snippet yeah, that makes sense. I've been mostly using OBS and just getting short video clips, but yeah. I'm just curious. They're getting, uh, apparently getting ready to release a new OBS, which is going to have screen capture built into it. Good. I really like this pink Aurora effect they put on this camp. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's one of the prettiest spaces I've ever seen. Yeah, for sure. And, and BRC VR, I feel like they really kind of you know took it up a notch. Um, what other spaces have you seen that are really nice? So what that one, the Chinese lanterns one, is called what? Yeah, it's look at the it's Unity Sanctuary. It's right there. I I, I put it in the chat here. You oh, should be able to click on that. Okay, in Jitsi, let me find it. There we go. And I went into uh, Alchemy on Friday night when they did the opening and then did the turned off the lights and sh shot that light out of the top of the pyramid. Mm -hmm. And <gasps> I, peris I periscoped that and there was a burner in there that gave a guy a tour and I tagged on with him and she talked about that sphere with a fire in it and the tree and all these things that you guys are part of and uh, I streamed that on Periscope and it, uh, it's actually gotten retweeted several times by multiple people because of it. Nice. I use an Xbox controller to uh, navigate around inside of here. Uh, there's that's, that's Brian right there, the guy with the cap on. He's the, yeah, he's Hi, the creator. Tell him Carlos sent you. If Carlos he's sent me. He's here with me. We're on the art tour right now. If you can hear me, Brian, you may be away from your computer. He's on desktop. And then uh, his wife, Tina, is also, they got married on the playa uh, four years ago. Nice. So they just, they just had their anniversary a couple days ago. I want to give you the best possible view of this, and then I'm just going to like slow in on it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really quite nicely done. And you'll see the floors look like the the playa itself. And he had, a, she had a, one of her best friends, she's from Taiwan, and had one of her best friends from Shanghai do this audio track inside of one of these lanterns. And then this... There you have the... Wow, okay, I see yeah. what you mean. Yeah. So using the pattern of like cracking, but in a kaleidoscopic way to create. Yeah. They gave me a, a 30 minute tour of the whole place and I recorded it for them and they gave it as a wedding present to them. Aww. Yeah, they're a really nice couple. Seems These so. Are, He's originally from New York, lived there 30 years, and then moved out to the East Coast. He's in, uh, did television production for a number of years. Is, is that him? Uh, Brian? I don't know. I, I saw him earlier, uh, but he may be yeah. AFK yeah. right now. Right. But this is a gorgeous piece, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta you gotta uh, turn on fly in your settings. Yeah, I know. I had it on last night, and I was like, "Oh, I think I'm out of fly mode again." Here. Yeah, that's him. Oh, hello there. There he is. He's right next to you. Yeah. Hi, Brian. Hello. This is Evo, and I'm here with Carlos, who sent me over to see your art. We're actually oh. doing the uh, art tour right now. So we're in a streaming oh, room together, and we're in an art bus. Oh, 
uh, and he was telling me about your work, oh, so I I wanted to see it. Oh yeah, yeah. Where is Carlo? Did he go? He's in a streaming link with me right now. Uh, so we've got a we've got a link to the to the Eva Love Art Bus um, that yeah, right. that uh, especially for those who don't necessarily have VR or haven't been in these worlds before. Yeah. We're just basically doing tours throughout the week too. I used to help run the Burning Man art tour out in the Artery team. Oh, cool! So you're streaming to another world right now. Um, I have you in OBS so that uh, both Carlos and I can see you, and uh, then we basically have like an overlay of my art car and some playa crack, so you feel like you're kind of riding along in the art car as you're as you're exploring. Wow, cool! Yeah. Can I give you a quick little tour? Do you have time? Please do. Go for it. I'm not in fly mode right now, so let me know if I need to go to fly mode. Me too. To get into the to the thing. To the lanterns. You won't be able to fly in your world? Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh shoot, Brian. It, 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 it teleported me when I didn't realize. I am not very good with the oh, yeah, alt right. space desktop interface I had yet. To warn you about that. Yeah, it You're totally just, just it, 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 it keeps teleporting me away. Okay, so let me go to my settings. Um, Am I feeding back at all? Go input, input. On the top, yeah, there you go. All right. All right, now you're you're okay. You're doing fine. Um, was, that the hand, was that the hand of the heaven from Carlos? I heard him in the background. Yes, yes, you're hearing him through our, our Jitsi and and, uh, and through my oh. microphone, basically. <laughs> so if you have flying enabled, you can go now inside. I do, let's go. Right. Ooh. Make sure you tell him you're in Oakland too, because he's. Oh yes, so I'm in Oakland. Uh, Carlos says I should tell you that. Oh yes. Uh, welcome everyone to Oakland, California, or actually we are at Burning Man. That's right. Uh, so we're in the Black Rock Desert. I am actually with the voice of the heaven speaking from Oakland. Excellent. Excellent. It happens, you know, I, I, I believe in the spirituality, so we created a world that has kind of that element to it. So you transport from where you are into here. I'm, I'm just learning our interface here. I'm going to send so, yeah. you our URLs so that you can uh, yeah, join yeah. the art bus at some point, too. Oh yeah, definitely. While you're typing, I'll do a little talking. Go for it. So, welcome to Unity Sanctuary. Unity Sanctuary is a sound and light healing sanctuary. Um, mm -hmm. The inspiration for this entire structure um, comes from my wife, uh, Tina. Uh, she started an artist collective called uh, Chinese Beyond Borders. Mm -hmm. And Chinese Beyond Borders uh, brings Burning Man, brings wearable art to Burning Man every year. And when I met her, I met her actually in a Red Lantern dress uh, back in 2014, late 2014. And she had this dream, because she loved Burning Man, to create what you see, these lanterns, when you first walked in here. Uh, these lanterns are the camp, at the Burning Man camp. And um, she and an architect classmate of hers, uh, her architect, architect classmate, came up with a beautiful basic concept of one of these lanterns that they were going to actually camp in and sleep in. Um, and the, the progress of that still ongoing. We made a small version for Burning Man in 2017 along with the sculpture behind me, uh, Light Within Itself. Um, but uh, we haven't gotten past that until now. And uh, this whole entire world, Unity Sanctuary, all the lanterns are based on that. Uh, so I took uh, the basic concept and shape and it created a much more highly detailed uh, rendition you have here with a detailed pattern on the floor. You look down, you can see through and actually see the fly dust uh, rustling through. And, uh, I just tried to make this world as real to life as the birder, the birders know it, but also a lot more fantastical. Uh, so you kind of get that real uh, birding man experience, yet 
you also have that fantasy of something that's almost unattainable, but yet is. Um, standing uh, right behind me uh, is a sculpture I brought to Burning Man. This is called Life Within Itself. And Life Within Itself uh, was a memorial for my dad uh, who passed away in 2017. If you look in front, there are many hexagons within hexagons. And that is the Fibonacci sequence or at least my abstract version of it. And right behind that is the flower of life. Uh, the Fibonacci sequence hexagon uh, formation here faced the sunrise at Burning Man. So the sun rose into the side. This represents birth. Uh, the flower of life in the middle represents life itself. And if you come through the other side, I'll go forward. It's going to go right through the sculpture. This side, uh, which is a mirror image of the front, actually has the, the hexagon uh, forming the Fibonacci sequence uh, in the other order, representing death. So life within itself is the cycle of life. Um, and the pattern that's on each of these hexagons is sort of an abstract of the flower of life that I came up with. It circles getting smaller and smaller as they go towards the center. Uh, but infinitely, because when you half in size and half in size and half in size and half in size, uh, it's a forever uh, journey. And that should sort of show the infinite path of life. So the sculpture represents life on Earth, and the patterns represent the infinite path of life in every form. So uh, we can go up real quick and create a cool little balcony up here. Don't forget to friend them. I did. I okay. did, for sure. Yeah. And I just posted a screen grab on XR Social Club. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. So, welcome to the balcony. And the balcony I kind of created is an experience where you can kind of explore and fly around, especially if you have a headset, unlike me. Yeah, I am not in my headset right now. I have been mostly... Yeah, yeah, I've been... Uh, it's, it's easier to stream and do, you know, screen caps and things oh, yeah. this way. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, actually, no, we can make it There we go. If you go forward, you can do the you can go through everything, people. It seems like everything is... Yeah, yeah. He didn't put colliders on it on purpose. That's good. Yeah, it gets yeah. too frustrating I otherwise. Wanted, uh, I wanted everything to sort of be able so you can fly through it. Permeability. I did that because I want everyone to see how it's built. Right, and, and because you can. And, and in this space, you might as well give people as few constraints oh, yeah. as possible in order to enjoy a beautiful experience. Well, I mean, you can fly. You might be able to fly through things. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah Creating a maze day, that's you know? difficult. I, yeah. I went to one other camp that had a very small chute you had to find in order yeah. to get in and out of a, mm -hmm. an art experience. And it was hard. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. Um, so each of these lanterns has a different scene in it of sorts, it looks like, like a different art piece in it. So follow me outside. We're going to go to one which has some music in it. Okay. This is cool what you're doing, Evo. I like the concept. Well, and this is what we do at Burning Evo, Man. Evo love art bus. Yeah. That's cool. That's nice the way you did that. Well, you know, if we were at Burning Man right now, there would be 50 people on the art bus. So this is yeah. nice that you're getting almost like a private, quiet tour. tour. This is so pretty yeah. in here. Oh, wow. So this is a track that uh, oh, my wife, Tina, uh, her good friend, uh, does the vocal for the Buddhist chant. I think I've met your wife at a BRAF event. Is that possible? Wearing the dress? The... Oh, yeah. She's the lantern girl. Yep. I, I have uh, taken a photo of her, and I believe there's a photo of the two of us. I, I ended up having to curate the BRAF exhibit one year, uh, last minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, no, I, I remember that dress. It was epic. Yeah, show it to her. show it to her. Excellent. Yeah, I don't remember what year it was. Probably five years ago now. Cool. 
Oh, yeah. This is beautiful, beautiful work. Wow. Thank you. So we fly into the next room. It's the pink lantern, the third one. We can talk a little bit about the sculptures inside. Okay, let's go. The pink one. There we go. Woohoo! I'm behind you. Just low. So, Evo, if you go on oh, yeah. up to the that glowing orb in the top and look down, you'll see the I Ching on the tabletop yeah, of that sculpture that's there. Just shoot up there, yeah. Uh-huh, and, uh -huh. then, and, look, and then, then look down, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the bagua there. I see. Yeah, the, the whole uh, purpose of the Sound and Light Healing Sanctuary, Unity Sanctuary, um, is a light and healing center. I'm oh, sorry, a sound in my healing center. And each of the rooms uh, will have a different altar. They're kind of the same now. Uh, but each of the rooms will have a different altar, and then each are based on religious and cultural ideology aesthetics. Um, uh, so when people come into the room of healing, they may be fine, but maybe they'll have a unique connection to it because it's part of their culture or religion. Makes sense. So this is uh, Chinese culture, this altar. And you saw it, the uh, Bagua. Right. So uh, based on very it's traditional... Feng shui. Exactly. Yeah. I had, I had and, discovered uh, feng shui before I had ever found a playa. So it's nice to have all of these brought together in one place. Yeah, see, and that's the exact idea of what this is. You came in here and you immediately related to it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it helped that Carlos told me what to look for. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool that you've been in here, and it sounds like you've been hanging out quite a bit and, and meeting with people as they discover. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, did and you, you notice, too, the lighting from the ceiling actually reflects on the table? Smart, nice. Yeah, but the color-changing effects that you're using are really nice in these spaces overall, like the way you're using light to emit. And I, I saw... Um, my friend Josh, who built Curiosity, is doing something similar in this yes, way. Yeah, Curious Josh. Yeah, Curious Josh is an old friend of mine from LA, and and we were uh, hanging out there last night, and I was admiring the same the same kind of effect on his big piece there as well. Oh yeah, yeah, he did a great job. He did. Yeah. Well, a lot of us are Josh and I have produced together quite a bit over the years, so um, it's funny to okay. be able to collaborate over and over again in different ways. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's just like I'm doing the same thing. I've done so much large scale Burning Man. Like this piece wasn't a Burning Man, but um, I did something very similar to it for the Exploratorium in San Francisco. Oh, cool. Cool. Well, I'm surprised we haven't thing. actually yeah. met in person, but I'm glad we get a chance to connect now. Um, so what's your name again? Evo. 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 I'm Evo everywhere. <laughs> I run an agency called Playable Agency. And uh, we build these worlds for all sorts of people. I do virtual festivals. Uh, I was on the art team oh, cool. for many years. So I used to be the person you'd go find at the artery for help uh, for six, seven years. And then I helped create the art tour. Um, so the audio art tour that's been around since 2005, that's that's something uh, wow. Jim Tierney and I have been doing. So this is just an, I, 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 a very... go ahead. Sorry, I, didn't to, I had a very abstract idea I want to talk to you about offline when it comes to virtual reality connecting to the real world. I don't I, want to do it for Burning Man. I would love that. I'm going to send you my email address, and but I'm Evo at Playable Agency. And at Playable Agency cool. anywhere is an easy way to find me. And yeah, we're doing art tours basically every night at eight. I just thought I would jump in real okay. quick and see since Carlos came and found me. Uh, I know some of us are, there's a whole group of, um, there's a VR social club, a bunch of us who work in the industry who meet up on Wednesdays. And so a bunch of them are meeting up at six, I think, Carlos, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah so we're going to tour around a little bit from six to seven tonight, too. Um, right. So how do right. I bookmark this place, Carlos, to come back here? Uh, just grab the link that I sent you and uh, or i can put it uh, send it to you again somewhere else right 
and, and then put it on Notepad or Pad or whatever. Okay, uh, there's no way within the Altspace interface to like save I, a location. Theoretically, you should be able to favor stuff, but uh, these worlds are not going to be there forever. Although he says he will leave his, uh, but you, you theoretically could favor it and then come back to it again. But they, I, I, right now, I don't see how you can do that. Uh -oh. oh, actually, yeah. If on the page you can favor it, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm I teleport it out again. So, <laughs> yeah, so go go back to the page of Alt Space, and then you should have that link, and then just right there, there's a little blue box to the uh, right side, and just click on favorite. How? Do you how, see that? No, and right now I'm trying to figure out why I can't teleport back. <laughs> so sorry, I'm not on that page right now, Carlos. Okay. Um, Let I'm, me. I'm gonna send you the link again. Well, actually, you should have it. I had it. it it's in a different okay. window, and I, I'll get there again. Don't worry about it. I just um, okay. I I just wanted to see. You know what? I'll I'll put it in um, in XR Social Club. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and and probably wrap up this recording soon. But I just love okay. the shot of this, and I mean, you're totally welcome to screen share and do whatever you want. I I need to. Uh... <laughs> Okay, good. Well, well I like how the cool, chat's you know. pretty easy to navigate, at least. Oh, I did it again. I don't even know how I'm teleporting. This is so weird. Sorry, Brian. I don't even know how I'm teleporting half the time. It just happens. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I was about to where I am. Where are you? Evo, you... if, you, if you have a, an Xbox controller, you can plug that in. It's much easier to fly with that than i don't i don't else. have an xbox controller here right now but um okay. yeah right. i uh yeah we'll see we'll see i'm um where are you Evo? Evo, I'm, where are you? I'm behind you oh there you are hello hi i'm back i'm back i am just uh trying to get a little more video footage of this whole piece i got a nice establishing shot by accident you know, sometimes it's just what has to happen. Oh, yeah, no, it wasn't by accident, it was by synchronicity. Exactly, it was what needed to happen, I just didn't know it. Yeah, you just did it from forces beyond your understanding. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so I'm going to be hopping out for a few hours, but I'm going to jump back in later on today, and then there's a bunch of VR makers who are going to, you know, tour around and do social club together. So um okay. carlos may be in as well and you can you know, yeah, come and find us cool what time do you want to do it i could be i'll be around um well they're going to meet up at some time after six but i don't know where they're going to be going to i think they're going to try and you know bop around like we would on playa together so we'll yeah. see how that rolls <laughs> you know how cat herding goes um but i yeah, think they're yeah. meeting at the map at six is that what i heard carlos right yes specific time yeah where is the map is it in center camp or how do I, like how do we help people find are you, you are you guys are you guys streaming right now i'm not streaming right now oh so it's just me you and carlos 